What's up guys? I am warm. I've been doing a bunch of uh, yard work and fixing some stuff up, but I wanted to bring to you guys some new tools for Totally Tubular Two Minute Tool Time Tuesday. Oh yeah, that's right. We're bringing it back. These are fresh off the press right here. These are the new Milwaukee freaking tap and die sets. Now these are pretty badass because not only is it a tap and die set and one of the biggest things I find with tap and die sets is they never give you this guy right here. You know, the little, what do we even call this? I don't know, the, the lever, the, we'll call it a two in one hex lock handle. Works for the one inch hex dies and collette uh, for the internal threads. So I'm always running into issues like when I find a tap and die set that it doesn't really come with one of these. You just get a bunch of random tap and dies like, I'm sure I got some, some randos, you know, you end up doing this and then you and then you do something like that. And you know, you end up with a bunch of random tap and dies. And guess what I do with these? I end up not using them. You might buy a set like this, ew, it's yellow. And you might've paid a lot of money for it. And then you notice that it comes in this freaking cut your hand off style situation. Um, one cool thing about this one was it did come with some drill bits, but you know, that thing's just been chilling in the back of my toolbox. But these ones are freaking badass because not only do we have 38 freaking pieces, we have, you know, SAE for standard American style stuff. If you're using whatever around the house or, you know, you have like a GM or a Ford or a Dodge or Chevy, same thing as a GM, or if you're one of the people like me that are mostly working on European cars or uh, Japanese cars, so like my Toyota and stuff like that, I'm gonna be putting this in my Toyota because if I'm out on the trail and I break something in my Foreigner, dude, this is gonna come in so freaking clutch. Uh, so let's rip into it, literally. I mean, let's rip into it and see what we got here because this is really cool. Obviously, it's coming in a pack out system and you know, we all love the pack outs stuff okay this is cool so if you guys haven't seen this uh we got this really nice tap and die set and i love pack out stuff because it's just so easy to add to your car i actually added a uh pack out uh to my molly panels in the back of the foreigner so i have a half inch milwaukee pack out uh, socket set in the back of my truck for but this not only comes with a little beautiful tray where we can you know organize all of our stuff but you know we got this dude that is heavy freaking duty heavy duty doc um this is really nice actually like this is this is sick really i'm okay oh wow and then we got some ball bearing detents in there okay okay so we'll grab an M8 1.25. You can see they are very uh, well marked. So start this side. Let's see. So I guess you would just go like that. I'm assuming we put it on a bolt and whatever, and we could chase the threads, but you can see that pops in there. So normally you kind of have like a little set screw or something like that on most of these. And that's that's kind of a pain in the butt and it has like a little angled piece and it doesn't really fit all that well, but look, that's in there, that's solid, that's great. So we can chase that down on a thread, super easy and uh, put it right back, which is great. So the actual tap itself, now how does the tap work here? Okay, great, so we have a adapter here and yeah so this is gonna go into here boom literally clicks in now how does this one work oh and look at that it's just threading wide open put our tap in there dude that is so sick and then we have this beautiful little piece that we can start chasing our threads and tapping whatever we need to, which is very cool. Um, I don't have anything that I need to do at the moment, so I'm not really gonna show using it. I, I hope you guys understand this. You drill a hole a particular size, and uh, you know you run the tap through it, 
right here and we can get the particular thread. So obviously this is an M12 1.5 thread and it just has all of our different sizes. So I'll riddle these off, M12 1.50, M12 1.75, M11 1.50, M10 1.25, M10 1.50, M9 1.0, M9 1.25, M8 1.0, 8 inch 28 pitch. This is a teeny one, M3 times 50, uh, M4.75, M4.70, M5.90, M5.80, M6.100, uh, M7.10, and M8.1.25. And then what do we have here? Oh, what, what is this? What is this for? I don't even know. Okay, we're going to have to figure that one out. What is that for? I don't even know. I don't know what that's for, so I'll get back to you there. And this one, this one should be for actually figuring out what type of threads we have. So this is pretty cool. It's like a little thread gauge, um, kind of like a feeler gauge, if you will, but it's gonna give you the different sizes thread pitch, right? So your 0 0.9, 1.0, 1 1.25, all of that stuff, which is really cool. And then on this, really, and then we got the 2.5 thread pitch, which is pretty heavy duty. Heavy duty duck. So it's very easy to kind of figure that out. Now, obviously if it wasn't working on one of these ones in particular, you can see that it says right here, metric. So we're gonna have that issue where, you know, it's metric or SAE. Let me figure out what this is, but on the SAE stuff, it's gonna be the same situation uh, with the full tap and die set, 38 piece as well. We'll open this one up too, so I can show you what we got. What is that little rod? I don't know what the rod is, but this is so nice and clean. Just, I love how these pop out because I use these a lot, just in general in my toolbox, you know, I just pop these little things out. I end up kind of keeping a lot of these things kind of in their little OE Milwaukee situation. That way they just stay organized and you kind of know where it is. And with these, because they're pack outs, it's just super simple. Now we have, you know, a low profile half cart uh, Milwaukee pack out and they just click right up. I'll go over the SAE one so you guys can know what size uh, thread pitches are in here. A fun stuff to have. Obviously with the pack out, we can start to add, click it on. If you guys aren't aware, it just clicks off right there and you click it back on and you can just use your hand, open this stuff up and you're good to go again. Um, what is that? Okay, oh, I see. All right, so I think I figured out what that particular rod there is for. So this is just, if you need to put this in here, you can, I guess. So um, that would be like if you're in a tight spot, right? So if you're in a tight spot and you can't use this whole handle here, maybe you're only gonna be able to go like this much and then you're gonna have to turn. Well, you can press this in, slide it through, go to the other side and then continue. Also, you're gonna notice um, on the top here that, you know, it is a particular size of socket. So you could also use a socket and run it down on there too, which is pretty cool. Yeah, this little, this little guy is, Super innovative. I've never seen anyone else do it like this. So I think that that is pretty dang cool. Let's go over the sizes here so you guys can know on that. And we'll wrap up the video. Um, don't be mad that we didn't use it. I will be using it in an upcoming video. I have some M4 threads in my rear wheel hub. Half inch by 20, half inch by 13, 7 16 by 14, 7 16 by 20, 3 8 by 24, 3 8 by 16. 5 16 24, 5 16 13, quarter 28, quarter 20, 12 24, 10 32, 10 24, 8 32, 6 32, 4 40, and 8 27. So great. And then we have, you know, all the dies themselves as well. So very cool. We can run these down on studs or whatever we need to do. So I like the kit. It's super cool. Again, we got the little thread pitch feeler gauge thing here. Um, you can see that this says it's fractional. You know, because us Americans, we love our fractions, I guess. I hate fractions. I don't even like speaking about these things anymore. But 
I do like having them for when I need to use it. Um, yeah, this is freaking awesome. So we're going to throw that metric one in the back of the Forerunner for if anything breaks. But I love this setup. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned about the new totally two-minute two minute tool time tool that's not a two-minute tool time tool because this is probably about a 10-minute long video. Thanks for watching, guys. Later and wrench on.